So are you ready to learn about ALS promising treatments? We're so glad you're here. We are the people with ALS and caregivers who built this dashboard because this is the information we wanted to see when we were making decisions about our own journey. Let's begin. Just under the title, there are drop down menus that allow you to filter trials by continent, such as North America or Asia. If you hover your cursor over the chart showing active and upcoming trials by country, you can see how many clinical trials are taking place or are planned in specific countries. The chart to the right provides the number of trials by enrollment status. And further to the right, you see a chart outlining those clinical trials by what phase they are in. Don't know what a trial phase is? No problem. In just a minute, we will fill you in on some helpful terms. But first, let's take a look at active and upcoming trials. Active trials refers to trials that are currently taking place. Upcoming trials are planned, but have not yet started enrolling patients to participate. There are a series of data fields you can use to filter and narrow your results by using the drop-down menus. Now you know how to approach this data, let's cover some important terms you will need to know to understand what you are seeing. And don't worry, if you miss any of these or still have questions, we have a list of terms on the website and we are here to help. Email us at community at imals.org. Recruitment status tells you whether the trial is enrolling patients to participate or whether it is full. Target enrollment, total number of patients who will take part in the study. Trial phase, the Food and Drug Administration has set up clinical trial phases through which drugs are required to pass before they can be prescribed to those living with ALS. From phase one to phase four, they vary depending on the goal of the study. Starting at phase one with showing a drug is safe in people to phase three when the goal is to show it is also effective and beyond. Trial duration, how long the trial will last. Randomization, process of assigning participants into trial groups. Usually one or more groups will receive the treatment and another will receive a placebo or standard of care. Open label extension, add on to a trial design where an after completion of the trial, all trial participants can have access to the active treatment. Route of administration, describes how the drug is given to patients for example, the drug could be taken by mouth, orally, or injected into a person's veins, intravenous, or IV. Trial link, a hyperlink to the trial's registry listing with more detailed information about the trial. Patient-centric trial design rating, PACT. The IMALS patient-centric trial design ratings for clinical trials were created by the IMALS Clinical Trials Committee to outline criteria for humane trial design. This rating system allows for objective comparison of select features between trials as they relate to how they think about and incorporate patients. The PACT ratings do not measure any aspect of the treatments being tested, including the science or effectiveness of a treatment. Click on this link to learn more about the nine patient standard rating criteria. Thank you for taking the time to learn about ALS Signal. Having this information about ongoing and upcoming research gives us hope. We truly wish the same for you.